Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Sarah. My name is Sam and <clears throat> today we're back playing Endgame of Devil. Um, last time we played we unlocked uh, this ring called Balance, which gives me a refresh and removal and it increases my chance of gaining rare minions. Um, not sure what this currency does. Um, uh, maybe I can forge new rings using it or something. Anyways, let's just, uh, <clears throat> let's go into level one. Let's get started and let's see how we do. Let's attack. <clears throat> let's see. Honestly, the doll bills was pretty good last time, so I think I might go for that again. And hopefully we can do well. Um... Tentacles would be good as well. I might go for an L just to gain some more refreshes right from the start. Uh, but claim to your blood arrow, gain one infernal after three uses of demon warlock. Ooh, I like that. Um, let's start the turn. And remove, gain one removal, then self remove. Yeah. We'll just do the zombie, just because it'll remove itself eventually, anyways. Um, yeah, we'll get that as well, because why not? Near. Yeah, we'll do that. The rats could definitely be good. Go with the generate one accelerate. Because <clears throat> I think that would be pretty good later on if I go for like the dolls. We'll go with that guy. Come on, let's get rid of... Okay. I was actually kind of worried that we weren't going to get rid of that. Uh, all I will deal combo, not normal attack. Click to remove the treasure and copy one specified minion without inher inheriting its attack. Um, uh, so we're gonna we're gonna remove this. Uh, I think we'll go with that. Go with that, and then we'll copy the doll. So then the dolls will actually start dealing a bit of damage. It's not a lot, but it's at least something. Um, we're gonna go with that. Uh, what's the... The doll isn't even really doing anything either. Go with that just so we can get some more refreshes. But the, I mean, the doll is dealing is doing something. But is it doing enough? That's the question. In one sacred golem and one epic minion. Oh, the sacred golem is actually really bad time hound damage plus four when it's on the corner deal two attacks per accelerate Ooh, that is insane now we actually but we <clears throat> but now we actually need a time hound which let's see if i actually can get that uh toxic fog damage They keep healing, which is so annoying. Okay, my removal. Let's just go for that, I guess. Hopefully the <clears throat> accelerate will do a little something, maybe. No, we get another doll. Uh, we can get that guy because he'll just remove himself anyways. So that's fine. 
Uh, I have no attack dealt in this turn. We'll do that. We'll get another doll. We'll have four of them. Uh, we lost one. Eh, dang. We're full of crit. We'll definitely, definitely deal extra two more shells. We dealt by doll. Oh, uh, that's awesome. Oh, uh, we'll game one removal. Then it'll self remove. That's pretty nice. So yeah, now they attack three times, which is pretty nice. Yeah, at the start of each turn, all damage taken plus one. Yeah, that healing is really annoying, I must say. But... <clears throat> They really need to focus that one guy. We could go with that and he'll gain some um gain some damage and stuff. Okay. Wrenches are routed for two demon. There are two demon minions on the board. We'll just do an extra damage for that. Okay. Um. Turn into a baby dragon. We can go with that. I mean, I don't think we even have any bloated. But. Well, now we do. It'll self remove anyway, so it's fine. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh. Ooh. Yeah, that'll be really good for, like, the dolls and stuff, because they'll just... They'll be constantly... If ten fall on the board, remove one, and the rest gains its attack. A nature minion on the board. I'm gonna refresh. Do I owe you one tree on her? Gaining permanent... Ooh! The dolls are gonna be cracked! They're gonna be insane! <clears throat> Yeah, let's get some more dolls. I hate dolls, but... And we can go with that. It's just going to get removed anyway, so it's fine. Um, it'll self-remove. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, the dolls, they don't... Let's see. Treasure deals two damage to an adventurer. An adventurer upon a minion uses cooldown ability. Look to remove the specified minion and gain one higher quality minion remove after two uses of the treasure. Uh, deals two damage. I think this is going to end up dealing more damage. I think I'm fine. Okay. Let's take a look at what the dolls are at. Because they only deal like one damage, right? Do they even attack? Other than like with their their thing i mean they oh yeah they do that guy's up to plus six wow yeah i mean the dolls do attack another doll why not we're just going for dolls and now all their attacks are up as well and they're just 
<clears throat> They're getting really buff. What's something we can remove? Honestly, the dancing zombie. Let's just get rid of, rid of that. Like we don't we don't need the stupid freaking dancing zombie. Um, we can go with that. It'll self remove. It'll just you know self remove anyways. Oh, deal. Generate one accelerant. Yeah, we'll <clears throat> get another doll. <clears throat> My gosh, I don't know why I'm <clears throat> struggling to. Like, I don't know. Um, self remove, we could go with that. So I gain a refresh with that. I gain refreshes. Uh, I'm gonna remove both of those. I want to keep my removal at 10. Because then that one thing uh, works for me. It does And it does well. In run random epic minion. That'll be nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm really thinking that the doll strategy is probably the way to go. We get another armor guy. Because then we'll get two refreshes instead of just one. So like dolls, blood arrow will attack near to the... Slime will deal crit. Blood arrow will also attack adventurers near to the attacked target. I think I'll just go with that. Board gets permanent plus one. That could be, that could be pretty good. That could be pretty good. That'll be good for like the dolls as well. Blue clock will be good. I don't need you. I really don't. Um, I don't need you. I don't need you. Sounds like I'm saying I don't need you. I don't need. I just. I don't need the the, the, the juice. I uh, don't. I just don't need them. That was a terrible German accent. That was actually horrible. I uh, I apologize for, <laughs> for what I. I mean, the board gets permanent plus four. Jeez, that's insane. Permanent plus four. Dang. Come on, give me some. Attack plus one permanently per undead minion removal. Okay, I'm out of refreshes, but that's fine. I'm really not worried about losing. I mean, let's let's take a look at my dolls. Remove the lowest attack undead minion on the board and deal with it. Well, that guy would just be good for like removing undead. Bro, this doll has 17, 12 attack. Jeez. Yeah, I'll just start removing some undead guys for me. There's Dragon Anger Baby for Dark Saber. Gains a permanent. Boom. That's gonna be really good. Another doll. Yes, please. Dolls are demons. Yeah, they're considered demons. Just like in real life, they're demons. Gain one removal and one refresh. 100%. I'd love that. The tree ant actually could probably re be removed. Um, like I said, I'm really just heavily going for like dolls, dolls, and just more dolls. So like, I could just remove the tree ants. Yeah, so I move after four uses of cooldown ability. Uh, group one rare undead minion. Well, that's undead, actually. I don't know if I. Uh, ooh, super portal. That could be interesting. I'll get rid of that guy. 
I'll get rid of that guy. Do I even have any more undeads? I don't know if I do. Gen uh, generate when the adventurer dies. You want a hydra? You want all? A death blast? Remove the treasure and generate for the game reading. Are you fresh? Death blast doesn't. Damage taken plus five to adventure if you can use. And self remove by fireball. I'll just go with that. I don't even really know what the best option was for like any of those, really. I'll just go with that with like for the for the necromancer because the necromancer will just remove the ghoul anyways. I'm just gonna start getting some undead units just for the necromancer to remove them. Um, uh, like if I don't get shadow ball, yes. Shadow Ball is insane now. Wait, does... Will the Necromancer remove himself? Can he remove himself? Who died as a... Quality and you are able to... Four times his attack. See, that's... But... That's only for units that deal combo. When the tags and three extra thunder of double crit. Um Upon recruit or gain five minutes involvement the chairs on the board if I are getting a new one. Ooh. You have one random wave blade per two damage dealt by dragon. Uh, yes! More shadow ball damage! I could probably remove the accelerate guys now. I don't think it's probably necessary. Uh. The reason I say that, um, Shadow Ball. The reason I say that is because the dolls and stuff already have. Like, their, their cooldown is already just, you know, one. So, I don't really need their cooldowns to be reduced, you know? Like, it's already low enough. Um, I actually think the Necromancer is removing my Blacksmith. After they're attacking, you Chaos Lord and remove himself and remove after three times. Uh. Oh, yeah, the crossbow was pretty good. Recruit one minion. I could do that. Go for another Dark Crystal with the, uh. those guys damage plus one per adventurer on the board become the highest quality minion well, I mean we'll just go for another another doll um sacred golem they're inorganic is there anything that's producing in our uh Do these guys 
generate sacred golems, maybe? They must produce sacred golems or something. That's my guess. We'll just go for another one of those. Um... Never had a death boss is dealt. Oh, ooh, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's fine. Do I want to keep the owls? Oh my, the, owl, the owls are actually dealing a decent amount of damage. Let's get another doll, obviously. Um, AoE. Uh, and yeah, we'll get that just because it self removes, anyways. Jeez. This boss is. Yeah, that boss got demolished. How long is this video? 21 minutes? You know what? Game 4 refresh in this level. You know what? Might actually just go for another one because we're doing so well. <clears throat> like we actually destroyed using the uh, using the dolls. Uh, maybe we go Murloc. Go for a Murloc build. That could be fun. Murloc build could be interesting. Uh, slime. Slime could be good as well. Because there's things that generate, um, that create minions. Okay, okay. For one phantom bow. For one random wave blade per two damage dealt by dragon, turtle, goblin deals, range, attack, and has a 15% chance. And game one, you want epic minion. Game per cumulated five. For blood arrow? So that'd be ten damage from a blood arrow. I think I I think I'm gonna go for a slime build. The only problem is the slimes might remove them remove each other. That's the only thing. Actually that wouldn't even be that bad. Because if the slimes, like, get really tanky, right? Like, they get, they have, like, just tons of damage. And, like, we could go with that. That'll generate, oh, okay. I think it removed the egg. Um, we can go with that. I wonder, do the slimes actually remove each, can they remove each other? That's a good question. We can go with the mummy. Hey, took a freaking do two times to the target. Uh, we'll do. We'll just go with that. I mean, if you want death blast, we're just we're just trying to. I'm just trying to go for things that kind of like are, have like a good amount of damage to them. Um. So like the mummy, which increases its damage over time, I think would be good. Uh, we'll go for some more murlocs. So we can get three murlocs. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping that the slimes remove things for me. Um... They're kind of not going as fast as I would like them to, though. Uh, if there's click to remove this treasure, we'll remove all means from the body. Ghost captain. And we'll go with that. I 
What happens if it gets into like the negative, negative damage? Not sure. Not too sure what happens. Uh, we'll go with that. Come on, slimes. Do your thing. We'll go with that guy. Yeah, I mean, I'm de I'm very much so, like, relying on the slimes to kind of buff themselves. Uh, use range attack. Ooh, more damage for melees could be good. Wait, what removed it? What reduced its attack? Uh, from demon or undead. Is that what happened? Oh, no, it's that thing. I'm stupid. I forgot that thing was a thing that exists. Uh, oh. Are, are slimes nature minions? They probably are. So that's actually pretty good. Uh, per accumulated then self remove. Uh, when Murloc attacks. We can go with that. Um. And that thing is on the board, right? Yeah, all nature. And... The goals. Kind of remove some of those. Yeah, I mean, all these guys are definitely toxic. Yeah, let's just get another slime in here. Get a bunch of these guys going. Um, I am a little concerned about slimes removing each other, but uh, remove poison imp and fire imp on the board. Uh, can you switch and get one zombie opponent? Can use two extra cooldown ability. I'm just gonna go with that. Um, I'll do that. Just get another Murloc. Why not? Dang, they evaporated that, those guys. Get more Murlocs. Okay. Uh, the specify and gain one higher. Click to remove the treasure and gain six refresh and six. So, self remove after two uses. Click to remove. Uh, I have like. I only have like one diamond left. Click to remove the specified minion game one higher quality aptitude. So I might actually go with that. Um I'll go with that. I'd love to get more slimes. Slimes would be amazing. Because they just, you know, they increase the damage of everything. Because they remove things. And then... Like, the chance of them not doing something good is definitely low. Do I have any undead minions? I have a mummy. I have a ghost sailor. 
I have a plague doctor. Extra damage, fog. Extra toxic fog damage for time. Do you want fireball? I'll probably get. I mean, actually, if the slime were to remove the baby dragon, that would definitely be best case scenario. But that's definitely if an iffy thing. Uh, I'm gonna go with that. We'll go with the ghost sailor, try to get the, the slime to remove it. This is definitely, like, not a super good strategy, but it's an interesting strategy, nonetheless. I mean, that one slime is really tanky. Nice. Death Blast. We'll go with more damage from Pandalus. We can go with that. He removes that. Is that one thing on the board? Um, I need to remember what he looks like. This guy. Is he on the board? No, he's not. Which sucks. He's still not on the board. Now he is. Uh, generate. We'll do it. We'll go with that. It's still not on the board. Still not on the board. See, that's the only problem, is trying to get him on the board. Because half the time he's, he isn't even on the board anymore. Now he is, okay. That's what I'm wanting. He self-removes, though. So, like, I'm assuming that counts. Uh, turn it to one. I'm just gonna go for another slime, just so I can keep removing some things. More slimes. Just keep removing. Remove 
remove that, remove that. Can remove that. I mean, I have so many removal things that actually... It's honestly not terrible. Bug berries, okay. You you can just get out of here, because I can just remove stuff if I don't want it. Time hound, game of dinner, self remove. Deal damage equal to number of toxic fog to all adventurers. The minion removal? Oh my gosh, that's actually really good. That guy's just gonna self remove anyways. So, like, might as well. We can just go with the nightmare, because why not? My problem is that thing is on the isn't on the board right now. Still isn't on the board. Uh, definitely deal extra damage. Uh, we'll just gain more refresh then, I guess. Now we now we're facing the boss here. Um, we can go with that. I might just get rid of a ton of these toxic worms. Just because... Just because their attack is just that low. That they're almost just not worth having. Get rid of these sailor guys. And that thing. Go with... I mean, this is actually a better strategy than I was expecting. Like, it's actually starting to go extremely well. I mean, everything is just scaling so fast. Because, just like the nature build, it's actually doing insanely well. I've used a lot of my removals, though, but it doesn't even matter. Like, I'm just... Just ended up demolishing them anyways. I now I have another ring. Maybe I have to unlock all the rings and then I can forge new ones? I have no idea what the point of this currency is. I really don't. Uh, Because it has nothing to do with like the gallery, nothing like that. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But... Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video of me playing Endgame of Devil. It was a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, uh, my name's Sam. This is me, you know, I, just having fun, I guess. Like, that's all I can really say. This is, this is such an amazing game. I love this game. It really, it, it truly is such a fun, fun time. I highly recommend you guys get this game. It is a lot of fun. There's loads more levels and strategies and stuff to come up with and mess around with so but yep uh yeah hope to see you guys and don't forget oh wait don't forget to like and subscribe i want to mention that just you know it helps boost the channel lets me know what kind of content you guys are enjoying and wanting to see more of and don't forget to leave a comment to 
let me know what games you want to see me play or you know what game you want to see me play more of um and yeah i will uh see you guys in the next video take care